All right, uh, we're going to be showing you how to make these um, Halyard H600 duckbill style masks. They seal really well, um, and they're very fast to make if you have the material. So the tools you need are a uh, ruler, cutting mat, utility knife, butter knife, or some kind of spudger for holding things to the heating element. And the heating element, uh, well, is on this Metronic 8-inch impulse sealer. These are about 40 bucks. You can get them on eBay. Um, this is model FS200, and then attached to it, uh, we have this little 3D printed jig that I will put on Thingiverse or somewhere else that has most of the critical dimensions of the mask built in um, and makes it much easier. So uh, the consumables you'll be using are an 8 by 7 inch rectangle of halyard, uh, nose stiffener, which in this case is just a piece of aluminum, and two uh, straps which will be used to tie back the mask. So uh, starting with the halyard, this is two-ply material. First seam you're going to put in is just along the long edge, 8-inch edge. Put it to the first detente on the jig. Um, get your sealer to somewhere in the middle range, around a 4, and just put the seam in. And after it turns off, don't move it. You're going to do this every time. Wait for at least 3 seconds, 4 seconds. If you move it too soon, uh, you'll move it while the plastic is still molten, and it will turn to garbage. Um, you're going to put in the second seam using this uh, set back shelf, because we're going to set this seam back from the edge a little bit, because this is going to be where we put our nose stiffener. Now we're going to slip in the stiffener, sort of center it lengthwise and push it right up against that seam. And it's more centered there. Now we're going to use that first shelf again to put a seam closer to the edge. Now we're going to fold the mask hot dog wise, um, match up the corners, and this is where the pockets come into play. Um, so to get the angle in, put the folded corner into the pocket such that the unfolded corner is lying on the heating element. And this is how you sort of preserve that angle because you're going to have to hit this from both sides. Um, also you're going to need to turn up the heat on your heat sealer to you know, around a six or a seven. You're going to need to flip it over, hit the same seam from the opposite side. And since this is a very It's going to depend on the temperature of the room you're in. So I've just found from experience that giving it a little bit of an extra tap tends to help it seal. But again, this is going to, your mileage will vary. So uh, now you can check the seam because we're going to be cutting off this outer port part of the mask. You can just give it a quick tug in there. It holds together. It's a good seam. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Again, we're waiting because if we move too soon, we'll, melt, we'll move with melted plastic and the whole thing will come apart. So it feels a little slow sometimes because you just want to flip it over, but better safe than sorry. I'm going to hit that one more time.
After you do a few of these, you'll be able to feel on the tug test whether it's a good joint or not. Okay. Now we have the basic form of the mask with the nose stiffener in place and everything. So we're just going to trim it down. have like a guillotine paper cutter, this will be much faster. We also want to get the long edge because sometimes um, in the folding process the, the layers of the material can become unmatched. Okay, now we're going to join our straps. We have these two lengths of halyard. You're just going to fold it over the corner. You're going to turn your machine down to about a four. This doesn't have to be a deep joint. Lay that folded corner across the heating element. it over. Take it again. Try to line it up. That's good. Repeat the process for the other strap. That's it. And uh, obviously when you put this on your face, it will sort of form to your face. Um, but I'm not going to bend this one because, you know, disinfect it and bag it and it's good to go. So thanks.